Hi, I'm Aggie Broker. What's the first thing that comes to mind when you think about Union Terminal? Those magnificent murals? The Art Deco architecture? The iconic facade? Or the three museums or the Cinemax Theater? Well, here's something else to think about. In June of just last year, the National Trust or Historic Preservation named it one of the most endangered historic places in the country due to the deterioration. What a shame to lose one of the true gems of our city. One of the last great train stations to be built, intensive negotiations in the 1920s convinced seven railroads to create a combined rail hub here. A team of architects developed the famous Art Deco design. It was completed in 1933 at a cost of $41 million. The rotunda features the largest semi-dome in the Western Hemisphere, measuring 180 feet wide and 106 feet high. The station was designed to accommodate 17,000 passengers and 216 trains a day. 20 mosaic murals were created, including two massive ones in the rotunda, depicting the history of Cincinnati, and 14 others were representing the local industries. With declining use of the terminal and in danger of deterioration, the murals in the train concourse were moved in 1972 to the airport. But now, since the air terminals one and two are about to be demolished, funds are currently being raised to move them again, this time to the Duke Convention Center. So what's to become of our cherished but aging Union Terminal? Fortunately, just five months after it was declared an endangered landmark, Hamilton County voters overwhelmingly approved a half-cent sales tax increase to save it. We encourage you to visit it and get an ice cream cone at the vintage 1930s ice cream parlor while there. And vis visit us again next week to another Scoop 60. HHB Partners, smart, assertive, real estate.